Let's do this. I'm yet to be part of the Zero Malaria campaign to make sure that the word goes out on how we need to join hands and make sure that we put an end to malaria. I think I saw in this project uh, a challenge to find a way to tell the malaria story that could be easily understood and also be evocative and, and reach people. The mission of ending, you know, malaria within, you know, the generation is an amazing mission. The approach of using, you know, innovation and technology to get there is something that's super inspiring to us. Creativity is a way to catch them off guard, to tell them a story in a way that they didn't know it or see a different perspective. I think one of the real lessons of the last two decades and what we've seen is that malaria is completely preventable, completely treatable, completely curable. No one should be dying from malaria. Every year, 600,000 individuals die because of malaria, and most of these are children. And progress has stalled since uh, 2015 in terms of tackling the problem. So this is an injustice, it's a tragedy, also because it's entirely preventable. We're losing a future generation and we cannot afford to have more lives lost to malaria. The fight is not nearly over. We have a perfect storm and the need is to stay vigilant and get ahead of it. Let's use the tools that we have available to keep our children safe. Science is really at the forefront of trying to get it one step ahead so that we can really drive that area down um, and end it in our life journey. We now have the vaccines. We have two very effective and safe vaccines, which can significantly reduce the malaria burden. Be it bed nets, be it now the recent vaccines, be it indoor residual spray, be it seasonal malaria chemical prevention. All these tools are there so that they can be used to really bring down the morbidity and mortality from malaria. I really think that over the next, you know, five to six years, we are going to end up getting the tool sets that are needed to actually uh, get to zero malaria. And we're getting new tools in, so there is a reason for hope. That's why I'm here. It's really about saving lives. Climate change is um, seeing a resurgence in malaria where malaria had been historically eliminated. The spread of malaria has been much more unpredictable. It's critical that we get this funding in place for them to continue those programs and continue to expand because every child matters. It's absolutely critical that institutions like you know, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, the Global Conduct fully fund it because we bring life-saving tools to the most underprivileged countries of the world. We need more resources towards this fight. Now it is really coming together as the entire globe to say enough is enough. By securing investment from our world leaders into new tech, malaria is a disease that we can beat. We can change the story for millions of children all over the world.